We all love saving money, but it can be a challenge to do so without sacrificing quality. Tiger Stop crafts automated saws that'll improve your accuracy and cut down on waste, not to mention costs. Let's take a look. Now it's time for Made in the Northwest. We're out here in Vancouver, Washington at Tiger Stop. Mate, thanks for having us out, man. Happy to have you guys. I can't wait to see what you guys got going on out of here because you guys make some great equipment for shops. Thank you, yeah, we're excited to have you guys. Uh, let's go see some machines. Let's do it. All right, so we're at the beginning of the process. We are, yep. So this end of the building is where all of our raw material comes in. Uh, we get, uh, most of our equipment is made from custom ex aluminum extrusions. Mm -hmm. So we get aluminum in here. We have aluminum up on our racks. Uh, we have one of our own saws uh, kind of behind us here that we use to cut down our extrusions. Yep. Uh, and then over here behind us, this is where all of our sheet metal comes in. All right, this is an efficient machine, man. I love it. It is, yeah. So this is our 15 kilowatt laser. So we have a whole stack of sheet metal that we load in a cartridge. Uh, it has two of these tables. Mm -hmm. The machine automatically uh, loads a fresh sheet of steel onto one cartridge, mm -hmm. slides into the laser. The previous uh, cartridge with all the finished parts unloads and this is where the guys sort the products, uh, or the parts before they go on to being either uh, bent or welded or deburred. So that thing's always moving because when it's cutting, you're unloading, right? Yes, so the idea is that our operator has zero downtime. So nice. on a full shift, our operator is running just 100% of the time, eight hour shift, just moving. All right, next step, looks like we're bending some steel. Yep, next step in our process for the sheet metal is uh, once it's been cut from the laser, mm -hmm. we bring it over here and we bend it in our brake press. So yeah. this is a CNC operated brake press. Uh, so it's got a bunch of lasers, other sensing equipment. Uh, all of it, like I said, is CNC. So all uh, Braden has to worry about is making sure that he's got the right dies and the right program loaded up. Nice. All right, next stop looks like we're putting some metal together. Yes, so our parts that don't go straight from bending to powder coating mm -hmm. uh, stop by here first to get welded. So uh, we've got Shade, our, our welder in-house. Uh, right now he's making some guards for some of our saws. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's, it's really important to us as we continue to grow to continue to grow our internal manufacturing. Yeah. Um, our mission statement is uh, keeping local uh, manufacturers globally competitive and that includes us. So wherever we can integrate and bring in processes in-house that support our bottom line and building great quality products here in Vancouver, Washington. We always try and do that. All right, precision machining. I love this stuff. Me as well. This is some of my favorite toys that we have, if mm -hmm. I get to call them that. Yeah. Uh, so after we get some of our raw extrusion in, we cut it, like I said, on one of our own saws. Uh, and then it makes our way over to this setup. So mm -hmm. we've got two CNC machines running full time. Uh, both of them are five axis CNC machines. Cool. So we get in long extrusions that are this profile. And on this stop, we are machining some holes, some notches, also grinding down the precision surfaces, mm -hmm. uh, and then engraving our part number and our, our company on it. Gotta, gotta know where you're getting it from. We've also spent a lot of time investing in quick change fixtures so that you can see uh, when they go to change out parts, it's very minimal downtime. So yeah. these machines run, uh, right now we only have one shift, but they run eight hours a day, every day. Cool, what do you got going on over here? So over here, this is our main uh, Tiger Stop work cell. Okay. So we've got two work cells side by side. Mm -hmm. uh, we can be building two machines at a time. Cool. We have, like I said, we've spent a lot of time on lean manufacturing. So we have one uh, builder mm -hmm. go from uh, the ground up, one builder per machine from uh, kind of 
the start of it through yep. testing. Nice. So after each machine is finished and being assembled, it runs through a testing cycle. Uh, so you can see here we've got uh, Saw Gear Touch, one of our newest products, running an auto test. So it'll sit here running back and forth for approximately an hour. Oh wow. Uh, that gives it time to do what we call a burn-in on the mechanics, make sure that the glides all wear in, mm -hmm. uh, make sure that it doesn't need to be retightened. Uh, and then that also gives the production team some time to check if there's any things like tight spots in the beam, mm -hmm. uh, which we don't encounter very often anymore uh, because we have some excellent extrusion vendors. Nice. Uh, but it allows us to just check the machine, make sure that it's running very well, holding its accuracy for our customers once we get out in the field. All right, let's talk saws now. We're here in the toy room, as I call it. We are, yeah. We're here in our uh, showroom. so. Mm -hmm. uh, Especially as COVID's been happening, we've been doing a lot of webinars, a lot of online training, online sales. So we converted this area to our showroom. A lot of fun saws, a lot of fun toys. Uh, where, where should we start? Yeah, let's Brett. start here, right? All right, so this is the uh, bread and butter of Tiger Stop. This is our kind of oldest and original machine. Mm -hmm. Obviously this one is not the same machine as we built in 1994, but mm -hmm. We're still making them today. So basically it's as simple as enter a dimension, hit start, and move to position. Wow. We'll move within eight thousandths of an inch. Cool tools, but how does this relate into production for people that are actually using this stuff that are maybe a cabinet shop or they're doing some kind of production wood cycle? Yeah, so this helps in several ways. Um, first of all, the accuracy is really important. I'm sure anyone who's worked in a shop knows that everyone measures the same length every time with the tape measure. <laughs> Generally. <laughs> so our machine is uh, plus or minus eight thousandths of an inch, like I said. Mm -hmm. it, is, it will hit that accuracy every single move, every single time. So that's wow. a big saver right there in and of itself. Um, another area is with waste savings. So really where, we, uh, in a, where we've been innovating for 28 years now mm -hmm. is automation. Um, and so if you're, for example, building a kitchen cabinet yeah. or a whole kitchen, a lot of people will design that kitchen in a design software. Mm -hmm. And that design software can output something, a cut list is what we call it. So yep. it's a list of all the parts that go into that kitchen. You can download that cut list to our Tiger Stop, mm -hmm. and then uh, our Tiger Stop will help you, the operator, find out of your cut list the best fit in between defects on your board. Wow. All right, I see a cool little box here. What do we got? Yeah, so this is a planner box. Um, part of the training that we do at Tiger Stop for every new employee from mm -hmm. our accountants to our new engineers has to go through this training. So they, make, they have to make a planner box using our equipment. They actually make three. They make one uh, with a tape measure without any automation. Okay. Then they make a second one, same cut list, but mm -hmm. with uh, the Tiger Stop with no automation turned on. Okay. And then they make a third one using the backboard optimizing that I showed you. Nice. Uh, we think it's really important for all of our employees to not just understand what our products do, but feel it. Yeah. So what is the best way to explain to people out there what you guys do over here at Tiger Stop? We make positioning equipment. So if you want to move, if you want to cut apart at a specific length, we move to that length. Nice, and just with the utmost accuracy to get yes. the cleanest cut. Yep, so obviously the complexity can get up from there, but at its core, if you want a part that's 10 inches long, you type in 10 inches, hit go, and we will make a part that is 10 inches long. Sweet. All right, so how do people find you if they want one of these cool machines? They can find us at tigerstop.com or on any major social media platform. Tigerstop made right here in the Northwest.